As you build up your forces, you're going to need to fly in rations to feed them. The more rations you have coming in, the larger the force you can support. Establish a landing zone to start receiving resupply missions. Upgrade your LZs to maximize the amount of supplies you have coming in. The locals cleared out months ago, and what they left behind? You don't want to eat. Trust me. Your client has set up resupply missions for your rations with the Syndicate, but you're going to need to produce your own munitions, especially if you plan on fielding offensive units. Set up a munitions factory to establish your own production capability. Good work. Now you've got ammo. Let's continue. Fuel. Your forces, especially your defensive units, aren't going anywhere without it. Luckily for you, Zandia has some of the richest oil reserves in the world, and it looks like no one around here is going to miss a few million barrels. Build an oil derrick to tap a local wellhead and start producing your own supply. your operation starves to death. Run out of fuel and your multi-million dollar equipment is scrap metal. No munitions? Well, maybe you can just point your guns at the other guys and say bang. Get a handle on these resources early if you hope to stand a chance out here. Networking. Yes, even here, your success is going to depend on your relationships. Negotiating contracts with the major private military companies in the region will unlock access to new buildings, capabilities, and units. Go build the contracting office so your contracting officers can begin drawing up contracts with PMCs.
This isn't a drive through You're going to have to build a reputation with these companies before they give you access to the big guns. You didn't bring any business cards, did you? No? No. Of course you didn't. Okay, it's time you got your operation off the ground. Go negotiate an infrastructure contract with... RSL is the best in the business. You'll need their support for a whole range of basic services. Check your contract reports to view your recently approved or modified contracts and monitor your new contract referrals. The contracting office will handle all the paperwork so you can focus on blowing things up with your combat explosion chopper guns or whatever it is you people do you're still fresh meat here so your contract office will deal with the negotiations this one was easy but you'll need to spend more time at your command acquiring referrals before you can close the deal on advanced contracts trainee commanders had a misunderstanding with his client and well let's just say his command has been unexpectedly terminated <laughs> oh, hell. we're all friends here I had to shoot him and disband his unit anyway that's not the point the silver lining is now that I've got a group of highly trained soldiers still serving out their contract I'm reassigning them over to you you're welcome go read your report on their arrival Now, don't say I never did anything nice for you. The point you should take from this is that it's extremely important that you try to meet the terms of your contract. The people we do business with, they don't really handle disappointment well. New intel just came in. You've got your first search and destroy mission. Unidentified mercenary forces have been reported holding positions in your area of operations. Assemble a strike force, get in there, and take them out.
was afraid of this. Those mercs were working with Zheng Shi. It looks like you've got their attention sooner than expected. But it also looks like you brought back some new recruits. Search and destroy missions will sometimes pay off with free friendly units, resources, and special mission items. Or may just get your men massacred with nothing to show for it but experience points. The client considers these targets of opportunity, so deciding if and when you want to engage them 